So that's kind of where the company started out um, in the UK. The shoes were originally designed for fell running. If you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of a style of racing where you have a start and a finish line, and then it's just, there's no trail. Just get there the fastest. So people are going in all which directions. You have different terrain. You got water, mud, rocks, everything. So they wanted to kind of make a shoe that could work for that. So they did, um, and it took off. And then what happened was about five years ago, it came into the U.S., and then we designed a shoe called the f Light. It was a mountain racing shoe. So the goal of that shoe was just to be something super light, grippy on the, on the rocks, you could wear it on the trails, um, and CrossFitters started wearing it. So that's kind of what started our fitness side. Um, so the reason CrossFitters really like our f Lights is because they're super low to the ground. When it comes to CrossFit, you're dealing with a lot of weight, um, you do not want soft cushion. That's a bad thing to have because you're going to teeter um, in all of that cushioning and it, it gives you less control on the ground. Um, we have some crazy grip on the bottom here, so that will help with any type of side-to-side -side movements, anything where you just really need to have contact with the ground. It works out really well. Um, one new feature that all of our athletes have now is the Rotec feature, um, so you can kind of see it here. Um, what this does, before it just had the um, just typical foam on the bottom there, and what happens is when you're doing a rope climb, um, you're going to target the rope in between your feet, and so this actually becomes kind of a break on the way down. So this is really important to have, um, otherwise you will chew a hole in your shoe, which people have done. <laughs> um, so that's been a huge thing for us. We also have tighten up the weave a little bit more. So you'll notice on this guy, the weave's a little bit tighter, so it's not like your typical running shoe that's breathable. Now it's you know, a lot more durable for those people that are kind of tearing up their shoes with like burpees and box jumps and all that crazy stuff that you do in the CrossFit box. Um, and then we have our, this is also your rope TPU, so this is also a rope protection. Um, but the cool feature about this is it kind of allows the shoe to feel more um, like attached to your foot. So a lot of people feel like the shoe is just like basically part of your foot, um, which kind of comes into one of the philosophies of Innovate, which is we want your foot to do the work, not the shoe to do the work for your foot. So a lot of people will notice it's just super flexible. Um, they don't even notice it when they have it on their feet. So it um, works out really well. We're trying to primarily market it towards crossfitting. Um, however, the main thing that the f lights have that's pretty awesome is because it was originally a running shoe, it can be a multi-whatever shoe. So you can wear it for the gym. I love telling people, you know, like you can wear it on the treadmill. Um, one reason this is a great option for the gym is because most people wear their running shoes to the gym and they completely destroy them because they try to do all these crazy lateral movements and it just rips apart their shoes. Um, so with these guys, they're designed for those types of dynamic movements and they're gonna actually allow them to have more efficient form at the gym. So you can kind of explain to them that the shoes actually will help them you know, perform their squats, their lunges and all that stuff a little bit better. So um, definitely gym shoe, Cody Moat, our sponsored athlete, just won a 50 miler in the f -lights. So. It can be done. It's definitely a preference call. Mm -hmm. So you can run, gym, CrossFit, all that fun stuff in these guys. So numbering system, men's 240, women's 215. The women's is lighter than the men's. It's a six millimeter heel to toe drop. Cool. So it's still pretty minimal. It's not the most minimal, yeah. um, but it makes it more perfect for that person that wants it for an everyday use, because then yeah. they have a little bit more girth underneath the heel. Uh, you can put your insoles in there, but again, the idea of the shoe is to kind of strengthen your feet. So you can kind of recommend that they maybe start to wean themselves off of it.